Uh, my name is Igor. I am from Project Oracle's network. So Oracle's network is a new blockchain based on Ethereum protocol with a new type of consensus called proof of authority. So this consensus is reached by independent validators. And so what's actually is, uh, well, you know, what kind of problem we're trying to solve? So if you're an Ethereum user and you used Ethereum like a year ago, uh, the price for one token was like $10, and now it's more than 300 So for your D app, execution of your D app is uh, 30 times more. And this is a price uh, you know, we pay because of you know, all uh, things we have uh, in, uh, in this ecosystem happening. And we believe that uh, uh, smart contracts platform should be more available to general public, and that's why we're trying to build a smart, pl a s smart platform uh, which is uh, cheaper and faster, and also it's based on best practices we already have now. So Ethereum is good because it's, uh, it's already a, quite a standard for smart contracts platforms, and uh, there are a lot of uh, developers, a uh, lot of uh, uh, applications built on top. Um, but you know, how can we build a new platform uh, using Ethereum, uh, with, which will be cheaper and faster? Um, so we use so-called proof of authority. So proof of authority is a new algorithm. It is a, a simple form of proof of stake. But instead of stake, we, uh, validators put their identity uh, as a form of uh, uh, as a form of stake. So for each validator is like let's think about it's like one token, and uh, each validator receives uh, the same reward as other validators. So let's say if we have two participants in the network, each validator will receive one coin each round of the network. And um, um, so uh, this consensus is quite, quite simple, and, uh, but we need to set up this network uh, this way that general public will believe that setup is trusted and, um, um, and the validators are actual, uh, are actual persons. So who is a validator in our network? So it's a, it's a person with known identity, and there is a way to cross-validate this identity. What does it mean? So we have, uh, uh, we have each validator has his own mining key. And this mining key, uh, we connect this using uh, some decentralized identity app with a pieces of identity from real world. So let's say we have proof of physical address uh, where the app where a validator can connect his uh, mining key with uh, his physical address, and therefore any concerned third party can cross-validate his identity uh, without uh, trusting to, this, uh, um, uh, to his information, because it's uh, provided by decentralized Oracle. And from the other side, we have uh, governmental services where you can validate identity of validator. So to be able to make this, uh, we use uh, licensed professionals, and in our, in our use case, we use uh, public, US public notaries as validators, because as a, val as a public notary, your identity is public. So any concerned third party can go to a governmental website and check identity of each validator. Um, information like uh, a physical address and full name is available to anyone. And there is a, uh, there is a way how you can verify this identity, and uh, therefore you can connect oracleized information on chain and the information uh, on a governmental website, which is a kind of oracle. So there is also so a role called master of ceremony. It's a person who set up this type of network. Uh, when we set up and start this network, someone should distribute keys to all participants, to all validators, and this person uh, actually start a new network and after this network operated by validators using self-governance mechanism. So here's an example of uh, our validators, uh, and uh, there are public notaries in different states, and uh, I can see some uh, validators of our network here. And uh, uh, this uh, validator secure our test network, and for a main network, we'll have uh, 25 validators. So it's easier because, you know, uh, the, when this uh, uh, open network will be established and uh, will be connected to exchanges and will be some trust uh, uh, which uh, people who will participate in crowd sale will put into this network. Uh, it will be simple to make a fork of this network, like to start another network based on same set of validators or a new set of validators, and uh, therefore to use this uh, type of consensus. 
So what are use cases for cheaper and faster Ethereum network? So we believe that uh, you know, uh, right now, projects who are building on main Ethereum network, they can move to new blockchains, especially if we will provide them a way how they can migrate their state to take the data they already have clients and move them to a new network. So developers can develop the same D apps they already develop on uh, uh, main Ethereum network. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, it can be any type of D app we already have. So because this consensus is uh, also movable, we, can, we uh, introduce the idea of uh, consensus as a service. So let's say one organization would like to start their own open network. And uh, you know, the problem here, how they, will, uh, how they will secure this network. So right now, if you think as an organization on how to set up your own network, you, you have some options like proof of work, proof of stake, and proof of authority. But let's say if, we, if it's proof of authority, what we usually call private network for, for in, in current use cases, how to make these uh, authorities open. So if you, ha if you see an example where someone used already this proof of authority with open network, you can take the same mechanism, the same mechanic, and, uh, and embed it inside, uh, uh, inside the, your open network. So, um, so what's the biggest uh, futures of uh, Oracle's network? So we have a uh, faster block time, and there is no mining. So that uh, it means that uh, our computational spent on uh, reaching consensus is uh, we need much uh, lower amount of uh, computations. We have built-in governance. So using this type of governance, validators can self-govern themselves. So after we set up this network using master of ceremony, we can uh, validators will be able to add or remove validators uh, without uh, master of ceremony or people who set up this network. So it's self-governed. So we can make legally recognizable hard fork decisions. And if you heard, if you know about the uh, uh, story of uh, Ethereum last year and this year, you know. Uh, uh, probably in some cases, uh, general public will have ways to protect them from, uh, uh, you know, decisions of uh, uh, meritocracy, like who people who are on, on top of uh, developers ecosystem. So it also can be a model for hybrid networks. Hybrid networks means that uh, we can connect open networks and, and private networks using bridges. And bridges is a very natural way of connect networks based on POA consensus. And also the network itself supports some DFs which are beneficial to start this type of network. So let's call them proof of identity DFs, uh, self-governance DFs, and this uh, type of applications can be used by, by different parties. Um, so we work with industry leaders. Uh, uh, Satoshi Fund is our first investor, and uh, we are a technology partner of uh, Parity Technologies, who are creators of uh, Ethereum. And we are members of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance and uh, uh, International Organization for Cryptographic Research. Uh, so we plan to uh, we plan to um, to start our main network in um, uh, in November 2017, and we will perform the first uh, in history uh, cross chain ICO. So uh, ICO will be conducted on main network. Uh, so funds will be collected on main network and using decentralized bridge. Tokens will be unlocked on Oracle's network, and we think this will be um, a you know, new way of. Uh, creating ICO cross-platform. So people will collect money on one network, but they will run their uh, token, they will run their software on another network, which is cheaper, faster, and uh, allows uh, you know, more, in, uh, more, more upgradable, so let's say. Um, so yeah, so Oracle's network is a you know, first uh, uh, Ethereum-based public network with uh, this type of consensus. And this consensus is reached by uh, independent validators Think about them as uh, uh, individuals, and uh, we have lots of models like this in real life. It can be, you know, juries. It can be uh, all type of uh, governmental services where we have open interfaces, so you can you can walk in uh, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can ask for some services. You can transact with this uh, open network, but also they have some, you know, limitations and some uh, so-called permissions. So we believe this is a kind of future of. Uh, uh, Ethereum scalability, horizontal scalability of uh, Ethereum networks. And we plan to launch this first Oracle's network first instance in November. And we have some agreements with uh, other startups who would like to build uh, on top of Oracle's network and build their own POA networks with uh, consensus as a service as one model or a different set of validators. 
So we use public notaries, but think about you know some organization can use attorneys, they can use uh, doctors, airplane pilots, whatever, uh, because if uh, professionals are you know can be cross validated and you know we can put some trust into them, we can use them to uh, reach consensus on this uh, uh, type of network. Yeah, so thank you very much for having me here. Yeah, and thank you. Oh,